Hello, I'm Jamie J with StampsByDesign.com, maker of affordable, clear, custom stamps. In this video, I will be demonstrating how you can make your own photo pop-up cards. I'm going to be using pictures cut from old magazines, but you can use actual photos that have been printed from your printer. With that said, let's get started. To make your very own photo pop-up card, you'll need to first choose a background. After you've chosen the background, adhere it to a piece of cardstock. Then fold the card in half and cut two slits that are parallel and of equal length into the folded card. This will create your pop-up. You can crease it over now and poke it through the card. As you can see, you now have your pop-up. Then you'll want to choose an image to use for on your pop-up. I've chosen a statue. After you cut your statue out, you can adhere it right to the pop-up slit. Then you can personalize your card by turning it over and stamping your initials or name on the back using a Stamps by Design stamp. This second card uses the same concept, but instead of one pop-up, we are going to do two pop-ups. So when you fold your card, you'll want to cut two different sized slits and fold them over. I've made one shorter and one longer so that it adds dimension. You'll open your card, poke the slits through, as we did in the last card. And then I'm going to adhere these before I adhere it to the main card. So you can do it either way. Adding the adhesive to the tabs is the best way to do it because then you don't have extra glue on your image. My image is a bird. So I'll place my first bird on the long tab and I'll place my second bird on the short tab. Okay, now it's time to adhere it to the main card stock. I've chosen black to really offset it. The last step is to just add adhesive. Make sure you put enough on so that it doesn't fall apart later. This is permanent adhesive that I'm using, but still, sometimes it tends not to stay. Remember to use heavy cardstock to make a pop-up so that it's strong and pops up over and over again after so many uses. There you have your finished card. I'm Jamie J with Stamps by Design and I've just showed you how to create your very own photo pop-up cards. Mm -hmm.